What's up guys, we're back here on Call of Duty Cold War and today we're going to be going over what I believe to be the two easiest Dark Op challenges in Zombies. And those two challenges that we're going to be going over today is the Anvil and Good Enough. And really quick, uh, I just want to apologize for the lack of uploads. Work has been kind of busy and COD content's kind of been lacking. Uh, but new season four is on the way. So there should be some new guns to do, a new Zombies map possibly, new multiplayer maps, all that stuff will be coming soon. So be on the lookout for that. But if you're missing the content and you really want to catch me, I have been streaming a lot more over on Twitch. So you can go ahead and check me out there twitch.tv slash jmon3y26 and also no green screen at least for the summer it gets way too hot in here to have the green screen up and all the lights on it to have it properly lit so i can key myself out from it so we're just gonna go with the normal room background i put up a extra light to make it more appealing but with all that out of the way let's get into what these challenges are so if you want to complete the good enough dark ops challenge what you need to do is reach round 20 with only your starting loadout and no upgrades basically what this means is you get to round 20 in zombies doesn't matter what map firebase or d machina but you can only use the weapon that you spawn in with. You can't pack a punch it. You can't use nades. You can't use support streaks. Just your weapon. So for this on stream a few days ago, we went ahead and hopped on Firebase Z. I went in with the E tool and Aether Shroud. Also very important. You cannot use field upgrades. But with Aether Shroud, it does no damage to anybody. While you're in it, the only kills that count are ones that you use with your weapon. So if you are in Aether Shroud, only use what weapon you go into it with. But basically Aether Shroud will just get you out of tough situations. It won't kill any zombies by using it. It'll just help keep you alive with the starting weapon that you picked. Now, the difficulty of zombies through the first 20 rounds isn't that high. Uh, it's pretty easy to get through, but the real challenge here and what we tried to do on stream was to do both of these in the same game. Now, the other challenge we're looking at today is the anvil. Now, for the anvil challenge, what you have to do is exfil in a game of zombies only using melee attacks. Now, what this means is you can use any melee weapon. There's a plethora of melee weapons in this game, ranging from like the knife, the sledgehammer, the sword, you name it. But for this challenge, I use the E tool. Uh, it's pretty well known by now that the E tool is the best melee weapon in the game. It's the fastest melee speed. There's not really a lunge or anything to pull you into zombies, get you hit. It's just fast swing fast kill and it one shots basically all the way up till round 20. So the goal of the stream that we had was to use the melee weapon, get to round 20 and exfil with that so we can get two dark ops challenges in one game. Unfortunately, it didn't go as planned, but we did end up getting both these challenges in only two games. So if you want to get some dark ops challenges, it's really, really easy to get. So let's go through my attempt. So for this challenge, like previously mentioned, I did use the E tool and Aether Shroud. I even put my dark Aether on the E tool. Uh, had to show off the the skin worked so hard to get it can't not use it we hopped in here on firebase we got everything started so we're just going through bopping our way through grabbing our loose change on the way you guys know the deal and once we got the power on uh we can't really go back and pack a punch uh in fear of not being able to complete the challenge because of the upgrade but one thing you can upgrade is your weapon using salvage so once we had enough salvage to get to green we wouldn't have to upgrade that you don't really need to go over the green rarity the green rarity should get you pretty far even red can get you far are, but paying attention to your salvage going and upgrading while you can uh will not affect this challenge so we went ahead stayed in colonel's office colonel's office is the key to getting basically anything done uh for zombies whether it's camos dark ops challenges you name it so We'd sit in Cardinals, rack up kills, have them coming to us in a straight line. If things got out of hand, there was too many zombies were getting swarmed. We would go ahead, hop out the window. And if that even couldn't do it, we'd pop an Aether Shroud and get out safely. So pretty simple stuff. All it was is just getting through the rounds to get to round 20. And also to help you stay alive longer, uh, once you have your weapon upgraded to blue, uh, go ahead and start upgrading your armor because you won't be taken away from that salvage anymore. It, it, it's just a little extra layer of protection when you get hit. And probably one of the hardest parts, it wasn't even that hard for the melee weapon, is the assault wave. Makes you kind of come out of your little den in Colonel's office and go defend. But still, there's not going to be Orda. It's only like, you only have to go through one assault wave. So it's just zombies. You just got to hold your ground, uh, take them all out, do what you can, and it should be smooth sailing. And when that's all done, you can go back up into your room in Colonel's office and just tank the rest of the rounds. And there was some confusion in chat whether or not you could use nuke power-ups if that would stop the challenge and it doesn't actually so if a nuke does come along and you just want to go ahead and end the round or take out a huge chunk of zombies for the round go ahead and do that it'll help you get to round 20 faster and, and don't be scared that's going to ruin your challenge because we've confirmed that it does not for the rest of this we kind of just had to stay on our toes made sure that we are aware of what we can get away with what we can't uh hopping out and leaving uh when we really needed to and what we can stick around and hold our ground for and here you can see we made it all the way to round 19 we're just doing laps around the desk zombies aren't really an issue still one shot and i'm with a blue 
blue E tool. No pack a punch on it or anything. I do have my melee all the way leveled up. So if you aren't one shotting, that might be the issue. But as you can see, we do hit round 20 and we do get the good enough Dark Ops challenge completed. Now the real challenge here was, was yet to come. We had to exfil only using this melee weapon. At round 19, our E tool was one shotting every zombie. There was really no armored zombies. Uh, we'd get a few elites here and there of like manglers and mimics. Those guys still aren't an issue. They, they just take a few extra hits to kill. You can kind of just loop around them. They're big and slow. And to get to our exfil, we had to go through another assault wave. We got unlucky with the RNG here and our assault wave hit right at round 20. So we kind of went to work defending our control unit for the assault wave. Uh, I was kind of sitting on the sandbags, kind of cheesing it a little bit to defend it. Uh, they were still instantly like throwing their, their gunk at me, stopping me, but they, they took out the first area to get to the, didn't get to the second, but it was all right. We made it through and it was time to exfil. And this is where the problem comes into play. By the time we went to go exfil, zombies became two shot. On round 21, these zombies were no longer one shot. It was going to take extra long to get all the zombies eliminated for the helicopter to be able to land. So we went ahead and went into our aether shroud a few times here to, uh, to avoid death. And it still wasn't really even making a dent. These armor zombies were like five shot kills. It was something ridiculous like that to the point where time's ticking down. We still have a whole horde of zombies to get, you know, just trying to get by. And we got a very sizable chunk down, nothing too crazy. Uh, we had about 12 zombies left by the time the timer ran out. So it is possible. Uh, I am also not the greatest zombie player. This has been my first year actually playing zombies regularly. So that might be a factor in this as well. But doing both these challenges in one game for sure is possible. But if you can't do it like me, what we did was just hop into a game again. We got everything started like usual, going through, getting all of our loose change, getting all the reactors on. And this time it was a lot quicker. We're, we're looping through Helipad, doing the whole same song and dance, not using any nades, not still using the same field upgrade, Aether Shroud. Uh, we did upgrade our E tool to green. Uh, nothing further past that, but after round 10, you can exfil immediately. Uh, round 11 is the first time you can exfil. So the, the E tool will still one shot during this exfil, making it 10 times easier than the last one we just did. You still do have to be careful because there is a lot of zombies. You can get hoarded very easily. There even was a point where we got a little too confident taking on a horde head on going down, but thankfully we did have a quick revive. It'll save us from using our self revive. All we had to do is kill a zombie to get up. Now immediately I, I made the genius play of almost getting downed right after getting back up. So I aether shrouded and I made it on top of that little building there in the exfil area. Kind of cool. Uh, I've never seen anybody up there, but it is a nice little spot. No, it's not going to be like uh, the desk on five where you're completely safe because the zombies can still throw stuff at you. And there's a giant gaping hole behind it that I've seen mimics jump up into plenty of times. But on this round 11 exfil, we cleaned up all the zombies with still 34 seconds to spare. So this was a successful challenge. And with that, within two games, we went ahead and got two Dark Ops challenges. Could have been completed in one, but a, a Dark Ops challenge game is not bad. So if you guys want to go and do these Dark Ops challenges, maybe get the calling card just to flex it because it looks nice. Be able to show your friends like, hey, I'm a Dark Ops champion. You can go ahead and do that. Uh, these are very, very easy to complete. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. If you like this and you want to see more content like this, go ahead and leave a like on it. Uh, you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and put out all kinds of COD content. If you want to catch me outside of YouTube, I do stream a lot over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash jmon3y26. And that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.